Okay, so here's the review we are talking about. It just has been charged completely. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn it on. And I will open it because I want to focus on something very important. But of course, in this episode, we will actually upload all the schematics here. But you don't have to follow everything here. All I really want for you to be able to create the radio successfully. But you don't have to bother yourself about the size because it's needed for me, actually, a very uh, a huge effort. So let's go ahead and open it, turn it on to see if this is still working or not. One, two, three. Oh, great. So as you can see, this is the uh, uh, MW, and you can see it is very long, very long. This is the shortwave, but of course it will not work as you like. It needs an antenna, this is the antenna. I didn't complete it yet. And this is the FM. And this is the short way. And of course the MW. Great, great. Let's go ahead and open it, guys. Because the box is actually an HCD and I spill it box. Yeah. You can see in there. There we go. And just like this. And I'm going to put it in here so that we can start discussing about it. Okay? Okay. So, as you can see, this is a lithium ion radio and it is rechargeable radio. So, it is not a dry cell radio. But, what I want you to know is that the circuit of the radio is a three volts, okay? You don't have to follow everything here because it will need from you a lot of technical issues that you may be not available or maybe it's a little bit complicated to remember. In this episode, we will ensure that you will be able, hopefully, to create the radio successfully. But don't care about the size because this is really miniature size. It's a small size. Using the standard size electronics, it's not a CMD electronics. It is the standard size. Even though this is the standard large side electronics, old electronics, this is still very small and multi-band. So you don't have to worry about the size. Just create the radio whatever size you like. The larger, the better. No problem. That's first, in this episode, we will have to ensure this. Later on, we will, in the last episode and the second episode, after this, which is number five, we are going to talk about how you can minimize it to become like this, okay? Now, of course, we have extended this uh, series. This is only three uh, episodes, but I have extended this because my viewers want me to explain more about this radio, okay? So... The schematics, which will be uploaded to the Google Drive, you'll find the, uh, the, the links in the description box, will give you each circuit alone. And it will give you also the all circuits together with the selector uh, band, okay? It will also explain to you how you can actually wind those two IFT uh, transformers, okay? Uh, please bear in mind that this is a 3 volts coming from here, although we have 3.724 volts coming from here. And this is the uh, uh, audio circuit. 
amplifier. In the audio circuit amplifier, there is a cutter here that once you insert the charging uh, plug, it will cut the whole radio, it will cut it off and will keep connecting to the uh, battery for charging. So forget about this, we'll discuss this in a later episode. Once you create the radio successfully, then you can actually, uh, uh, you can use the three uh, volts uh, to uh, batteries, dry cells, that's my recommendation. And then we will go uh, in details how you can create the uh, audio power amplifier, this uh, specific uh, audio power amplifier, okay? So let's go ahead and study the schematics of this radio and you will find them on the Google Drive links. In the so let's hope we'll find it here. Here are all the diagrams, guys. Some part of them are still, part of them are still in the other rooms, okay? So, let's see. Hopefully we can find what we want. So guys, most of the diagrams are here and there are also a bunch of these diagrams found on the other workshop there so i'm willing later on during this channel to really uh illustrate and discuss all these important diagrams because they contain very important information for the beginners and for also the experts it contains many many projects not only radios but many different uh projects so, I think, yeah. Hey, yeah, so this is the one, okay, okay, yeah, great, so this is the voltage adapter from the lithium ion, whatever, to a normal three volts like the cell batteries the dry cells good so still we will have to search those beautiful notices they contain important discussions about most of the radio projects and electronics we have to go through them all guys hopefully in the upcoming episodes when we find a time for that now we are searching for the diagrams for the IFTs is really, really important. I think we will find it, hopefully. Yeah. Okay, this is a beautiful diagram. We will go through all this, guys. We'll go through this. This is the MW circuit, EM and MW, because EM consists of MW and shortwave, this W. So this is the coil. And this is the uh, IFT. And you don't have to worry about this because you will do it later on. You will do it later on. But now you will have to provide here positive and negative three volts, which is the uh, dry cells. And you will get this beautiful result in here. Okay? This is for the short wave only. Okay? We'll discuss this also in the next episode, the next and last episode. You don't have to worry about the audio power amplifier TDA2822 circuit. We'll do it later if you like, but you can actually use any audio power amplifier. You will have to provide positive and negative uh, three volts. That's the dry cells. This is actually designed for dry cells, okay? And this is of course the schematic diagram which is more better I, I prefer this kind of diagrams i can do the other schematics of the uh, you know uh, standard uh, symbols but i prefer to use this because it's more and more uh, precise so you can use uh, the uh, uh, this filter or you can use this filter okay because you will find these diagrams on the uh, google drive okay both of them and finally you have the full radio and this is the circuit of how you can actually uh, 
regulate those powers, those voltage. This is a, a regulator, power regulator circuit to obtain 3 volts, 3.1, 3.2 volts. Okay? So you have these diodes with these millivolts. Okay? It will provide four. We're going to explain this in details in the next episode. And you will have to provide those two electrolytics. Each one's 100 microfarads and 159 or, or 160 ohms uh, uh, resistor and 223 code ceramic capacitor. Okay, you will find this uh, on the links below on the Google Drive. But you don't have to worry about this because you will do your radio uh, and you will use dry cells. Okay, this is only to convert from the uh, lithium ion battery voltage to minimize it or step down it, this is a step down circuit, to 3.1, 3.2 volts. This is the function of this plug, which actually disconnects the device, I mean here, the radio and the audio circuit. When you actually insert the plug, it will deattach uh, the device from here, and just only keep connecting the uh, plug uh, uh, charger to the lithium ion battery, okay? This is helpful because when you want to, even if the radio is turned on, it's going to be uh, deattached to save the radio from the uh, overcharge. This will be found in the Google Drive links down in the description box. Now, in this note here, there is an explanation how you can actually wind the green IFT found for the shortwave. Okay? So, you will have. There is a video how you can do these windings. I will do. I will give you a, uh, a link on the description box. Just uh, watch that video and it will show you how you can benefit from this. Those are five turns from here, and it will uh, have the length. I'm talking about the wire, 5.5 centimeters. Okay, and this side here, it has 21 turns. The length is 1.6 or 1.7 centimeters. All right. 21 turns okay and this is the circuit for it now let's go to the red one for mw you will have from this side you will have 96 turns and the length is 84 centimeters here it is 10 turns the length is 8 centimeters okay please Go to the link below on how you can actually do the winding yourself, all right? And this is, of course, the circuit for this IFIT.